we have to remember co-evolution when we landscape because the native plants make the nature of each place. In every place around the world, when we think about the beautiful nature of the Amazon or the beautiful nature of the pine forests in the Alps or the deserts of the Southwest, the nature of each place depends on the plants that are from that place that feed the animals that have lived there over time. And if we were to lose the native plants, what happens is that we lose most of the native insects and animals that need those plants because not all of them will be able to adjust in time to survive. What if people said, we should just wait for the monarchs to throw a random gene that will make their caterpillars be able to eat something other than milkweed? I'm not willing to take that chance, and I bet you aren't either. So people have been planting milkweed because they want to save the monarchs. They want to give their caterpillars what they need. So that's what we need to think about. Every time we plant a non-native plant, we're making it harder for the native insects and animals to find the food that they need. And we're making it a throw of the dice, a throw of that insect or animal's genes that maybe, just maybe, they'll have an offspring that might be able to eat this new kind of food but maybe not. And are we willing to risk losing all of these beautiful creatures that make our world such a rich and varied place? That's what we mean by a diversity of species. We don't want just crows and sparrows and pigeons in our world. We want mockingbirds and hummingbirds and cedar waxwings and towhees and morning doves. We want all these different kinds of birds and other animals to make our world's beautiful, life-filled places. Not just a handful of the generalist kind of species that can survive anywhere. We want a rich tapestry of life.